boy, was there a whole conversation about the room being set up the way that it is for this year now that Trey Lance is there. What have you seen uh, from him so far? Um, obviously, you know, his athletic ability is, is, you know, speaks for itself. And, you know, I've just been so impressed with the young man. He's um, excellent, excellent work ethic, you know, and, and this is, you know, this is every offense is different. I and mean, he's, he's going through the transition, you know, as far as the reads and the footwork and, uh, but he, he's, uh, he's off to a really good start, so he's a great fit for us. Well, I mean, and and I'm sure you're aware, Mike, uh, outside of the building, that uh, Lance's arrival was another opportunity for a pile-on on Dak and many in my profession. Um, and you've been around the special ones as well, Favre, Rogers, And I'm wondering, you know, if you're – what would you say to pound the table for Dak for people who feel that he is not elite in this league, Mike McCarthy? Well, I could just go off my past experiences. I mean, you know, I've been in a lot of great quarterback rooms, but, you know, when you have a quarterback room that has, you know, Favre and Rodgers in it, you know, that's, you know, that's that's something that you look at both their careers, it uh, clearly speaks for itself. Uh, so, yeah, this, I mean, Dak is the lead, is the lead dog in our room. There's no question about that. And, you know, Trey's a, a young guy with a, with a lot of, a lot of talent um, that's, you know, we're, we're going to have to continue to develop to, to you know, to, to fit our system. Um, just some of the things we ask him to do in our system. But let's not forget about Cooper Rush. I mean, Coop Cooper is, you know, an, an outstanding veteran that has established himself. And he's, and he's made some slight changes to his game that I've been super impressed with. So, and Cooper's, you know, he's that veteran that's uh, coach smart. He could he could probably coach in this league tomorrow if, 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 if he's dumb enough to pursue it that way and, just, you know, stay out of this rat race. But um, it's just a really good room, and and, I, I, and that's the reality of it too. So uh, you never have enough good quarterbacks. You know, even Will Greer had a, a great you know year and a half with us too. So um, you know, that's just a, always has always been the approach. And, and I think really looking back in my time, you know, Ron Wolf was the you know he, he's the one that really set the you know set the standard uh, you know of drafting quarterbacks you know each and every year or every other year. Um, so just keep trying to build that room. So. But yeah, there's there's nothing in, internally that takes me away from the focus of Dak Prescott being our lead, lead guy. Well, I mean, you mentioned Will Greer, uh, the way Dak dialed up those plays that night yeah. in uh, preseason. Maybe he's gunning for your job, Mike. Dak. Hey, it's right. good. Competition's good, Rich. Internally, externally, it's okay. Conflict is good. Competition's good. So yeah. Okay. He, he yeah. definitely did a great job that night. It, um, is. it was awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.